I think ultimately the question is how well you can translate through your writing, through your interviewing, what research you are interested in pursuing at each of the programs that you're applying to. Ask Dr. Gray pre-med Q&A brought to you by Blueprint MCAT. How are you doing today? I am doing great. How about you, Dr. Gray? I'm doing very well, thank you. What can I help you with? So basically, I am looking into applying to MST programs. I would say primarily my question would be, like, does my research have to have a clear application, especially if it isn't like a clinical or like a traditional translational medical research. Yeah. What kind of research are you doing? I currently I am doing more towards like physical chemistry, chemical physics and material science and engineering research. Mm -hmm. So I, I used to do bioinformatics as well as integrative pharmacogenomic research for about four years. And then two years of social and public health research. However, since like the middle of the pandemic, my interest really shifted heavily into the physical chemistry side of things, as well as engineering. Okay. And while there are definitely ways to bridge my current research into like biomedical engineering, medical physics, clinical engineering side of things. I feel like my current focus is really more about the characterization of electrochemical systems and how to improve them in more efficient and sustainable ways. Okay. So how do you think programs would perceive that or, you know, do programs not really care? Because for some programs, the MD and PhD applications are kind of treated separately. Yeah, most, I think most are, I I think that'd be a fair assumption uh, you're when when you're applying MD PhD or DO PhD, you're typically applying to two programs just at at one time, and so ultimately the question I, I don't know if I know the answer. Um, I I think ultimately the question is how well you can translate through your writing, through your interviewing, what research you are interested in pursuing at each of the programs that you're applying to. So as you're applying, you look at what faculty out there has grants and they're doing research and, and where are they getting funding and, and where can you contribute to the faculty that's already there. And so if the research that you're doing now that you're interested in has no kind of bearing or impact on anything that, that the faculty is doing, that may not be good. Or they may go, that's okay. It sounds like you're doing great research and we'll figure out some great research for you to do here. So I think a lot of it comes down to you and, and how well you can talk about what you're doing and, and do the research into the programs that you're applying to, to be able to, to show that excitement about, about what's going on at each of the programs that where you can contribute. Because when I was looking to the MST programs, it seems like there are only really too much for the research that I want to do. And one of them is, I would say, it's kind of like a very rich school for me. It's not something that, you know, can be easily get into, especially applying to that specific department. The other one, even though there is no like very direct PI that I can work with, there I, I was able to identify someone who might be willing mm-hmm. to work with the research I'm currently doing. However, the far majority of the schools and programs are not really doing the research that I'm into. And apparently from what they said, they are really looking just for people or applicants who are primarily in the biomedical research. Yeah, which makes sense, right? It's a medical school. They're looking for biomedical stuff to to improve patients' lives. And, and maybe there's some... Uh, translation there between what you're doing and, and the future, but that that may be an issue, and and you may want to switch gears as soon as possible if that's the route you want to go. All right, okay, I'll I'll definitely keep that in mind. Have you looked into uh, programs like Carl Illinois, or I think Texas A and M has a, a branch campus, or it's Texas Tech. I always forget which one um, has a, a specific program f- for more engineering based medical students. 
potentially where you can take the passion of what you're doing now and translate that into medical school and, and a potential career. Have you looked into those programs at all? I have not been able to look at every single program. Okay. I feel like with Texas a and um, some of the engineering programs that I was able to see are also more directed into like bio, biochemical engineering. Mm -hmm. And for some of them, they are more into biomedical like devices that are, yep. like for example, pacemakers. And although pacemakers are definitely one of the interests and targets, I would say, application of my current research, I feel like it might not be the best program because of the potential PIs that I am going to be able to work with or it's kind of like the PIs at Texas A&M are very limited in terms of the research goal that I want to be able to achieve. Okay. It sounds like you're doing the research into the different programs. I would check out Carl, uh, University of Illinois, uh, or Carl uh, University at Illinois. I, I, they change their name every two minutes, it seems like. Um, yeah. So so check that out. They're um, the newer school in Urbana-Champaign. I think that's really all my question for you. All right. A easy one. Um, where in the process are you? When when do you think you're going to apply? I am targeting to apply within the next two years, definitely. Okay. But if not, but if not I might focus now just with the research aspect and try to really see and explore more about the programs and perhaps connect with more programs if there are potential PIs that I would be able to work with by that time. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, right now, so so you're a couple years away potentially from applying. You still have the MCAT in the future. Um, right now is a good time. Go go get a free Blueprint MCAT account and, and use those flashcards for learning what's on the MCAT. Make sure you have that solidified in your brain. <laughs> 